I'm originally from Chicago and went to school at the American Academy of Art, um, very traditional studio-based school. And uh, in 1988, I was recruited by Hallmark to come down, was, was a, an artist for them for about 10 years. Midway through my career there, my own personal work started to gain, get some attention and gain some, some notice. Uh, my demands for my own work became greater than my demands for my, my nine to five, if you will. And so I have been an independent gallery artist since uh, 1999 and have uh, have a blast with it ever since. So it's been, I've been very blessed and very fortunate. I'll start a painting and I'll know what I'm after, but in the end, the um, visceral part of the painting, if you will, is really unintended. Any painting, whether it's a painting, as a matter of fact, or a piece of music, or, or even a sunset, I think to me it's just a trigger. That's all it is. It's a trigger into, you know, emotions that we kind of are storing up inside of us. And we look at this beautiful Monet or we look at this beautiful Sargent and that sparks something and then it leads us to, we connect with that piece. You know, the viewer connects with the painting and then they now become part of the process. What you do with the, with the kids, giving them that vehicle to express themselves, I think is profound because it, it allows themselves to open themselves up, to express themselves and say, this is what, I'm hurting because of this or I'm happy because of this incorporating art or, or at least um, getting children started on that path or introducing them to that path, it's imperative, whether it's visual art, um, you know, music, dance, anything, I think imparting a creative a voice to a child is, is akin to teaching them how to walk, I think, in many ways.